are you doing today? Good old at the shop, Bill Severe, eh? I just wanted to pop on here and show you a Chevy Astro, boys. In better shape than mine, eh? Look at this thing, boys and girls, eh? It's friggin' decent. This is the boss as it is, eh? But she's mint, boys. She's mint for a 96 she is. Look at the interior, boys. Very little brakes. Okay. She's decent. Hey, I have to get mine up on the old Hoyserewski here and check her out one day. Friggin' right I will. Anyways, I just wanted to pop on here real quick and say good morning, and I'll see you in a bit, I will. Friggin' right I will. Also wanted to tell you, boys and girls, if you want some car care products, we got a whole bunch in stock we do. Friggin' right we do. We got some oils. We got mud flaps for all different kind of vehicles. We got some wipers, hey? We got wipers on sale right now. $29.99 for a pair. And the good ones are $39.99 for the pair. But we got some floor mats in stock, boys. The old Huskies, eh? We got some bug guards. We can get step bars. We can get everything, boys. Don't forget the tunnel covers, boys. Hey, we can get tunnel covers. Friggin' decent, boys. And don't forget, you want one of these too, I bet, because, you know, I'm the LED king. I love LEDs, I do. Check out that for the old back of the rig, eh? It's got signals and brakes and reverse lights, and it's decent. Hey. Two in stock, boys. Come get them while they're hot. Friggin' right, you better. Why wouldn't you? Oh, boys and girls, I'm at one of my favorite body shops, I am. Friggin' right, the old G&G Auto Body. Decent, gotta put this Honda Civic window back in, we do. Where's the Honda, boys? Boys, where the heck is it, boys? Oh, for God's sakes, Jim. Oh, there it is back there, boys. I forgot my cock and gun, for God's sakes. Why the hell wouldn't I forget my cock and gun? It's the only problem without having the van today, boys. All my jewels are in the van, they are. Right there. What's going on, mister? What's happening, man? I come in here, say, blow your window in, and I forgot my cock and gun, but So you go back and get my cock and gun. What do you think of that? Do you want to use our cock and gun? Like, oh, you need the big one. What do you think, boys? Am I fired? What do you want to deal with? <laughs> One of my favorite body shops right here, boys, eh? Pretty right it is. Good old Jane J. Good old Jamie. I'll get you fixed right up, won't you, bud? I'm not talking to the area, bud. What the heck's really going on? So, boys, I drove this out a couple days ago, he did. And they had to paint the old quarter panel. It looks real good. They did a nice job. It's got some nice, real nice shine to her. Friggin' piece. So we gotta put the old window back in, we do, boys. Right, we do. So there's not much to do in this. The hardest job is taking her out, it is. But like I said before, here at Go Glass, we do body shops too, we do. Hey, okay? why wouldn't we Girls, tables. So we give this a little wipe off or risk. Now we got some tape residue on here, which we gotta get off, boys. Can't leave the tape residue on the urethane. There it goes. Hey, there it goes. Oh, lady, that tape's good stuff, eh? Hey? Break. Sometimes the old activator takes her off too, so we'll give her a little wipe down to see what happens. There we go, boys. So now what I can do is go get the darn window for God's sakes. Okay, boys, we got the guns, and let's get this thing in. Decent. Oh, we're out, boys. Reloaded, we are. And boys, like I said, smooth the edges, eh? Sure, there's no gaps. Maybe we don't want leaking or wind noises. No, we don't. That's done. Just like that. So that's all there is to it, slapping a quarter window back in a Honda. Friggin' right. Boys, go back to the shop and my van's back it is. Check it out, eh? It's all labeled up and everything. Look, friggin' decent, boys, eh? Friggin' right, how profesh is that? Look at her. Decent. So uh, I'm gonna take another rip out here in a bit. Do a little back glass action, a little windshield action, a little, another windshield action, a little slick and stickage and Bob's your uncle. So, you can come along, maybe, eh? Maybe. Well, boys, we're gonna rip out this brand new F-150 we are with the front firing collision camera, boys. So you gotta be careful with them, you do. Friggin' right, you do. I already did one, but it was in the dealership, so I didn't want to record it, eh? Always protect the fenders, boys. If I can find the tape. Decent. Adam, that, that F-150 we're coming back to do. Okay, boys, we're not going to cut this one out just yet. We're waiting for the part to come in at the shop there. So I'm going to come back, but uh, we'll get her apart for now, and that's more all right. We should be ready to go, Joe. Ready to go, Joe. He's 
clips are one of the hardest things to save on these F-150s, I'll tell you. These plastic clips. But I saved every one of them, boys. Friggin' right I did. Hey? Okay? Just take your time and they'll come out. Ready to pull? So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, boys, we're back. We are. We got the glass of Ruski for the old Ford and we are good to go. Slow, easy, careful winds raise, boys. Okay, boys, if you're wondering why I went around twice, I went with a short blade than a long blade. It's easier on your pulling strength. See, they're just switchable, they are. Beast. Oh, I just want to bring one thing to your attention, too. Freaking right, I do. It's not so much cutting out as what damages the body, it's whoever gives the scraper to. And a scraper sometimes could do more damage than any tool you can ever use to cut it out. Boys. Now some people say never pull the scraper towards yourself. But if you're pushing it that hard to stab yourself, then obviously it's not sharpened. And you're a monkey doing it. Hey? You should hardly have to even push the scraper. You pull the urethane and the scraper should almost slide through it. You don't have to push it hard. So if you have to push it hard, sharpen your scraper, boys. And if you have to be told to not pull it towards yourself, then you shouldn't even have it in your hand in the first place. Right? Right. Jeez, beauty. There we go, boys. Pinch roll first. Pinch roll and then the dash, boys. Especially on a beautiful new truck like this. Right, garbage. Next. Activator. And primer. Didn't need very much of this one, boys. They don't even, they don't even come off where the body seams are. I made no scrapes at all, I did. Just so you know, this is how it should look when you're done scraping the urethane off. That's how it should look, boys. No marks. Tell me I need a certain tool to cut it out and not make marks. What's really going on? Also, if you're using one man lift and you have an antenna, make sure you take the antenna wire off. You'll run into some problems, Will. There we go. It's just hot, boys. A muggy, muggy. We're good to go, we are. Them boys never hit, always push. Girls, peoples. So now that we got that in, I'm gonna slap it together real quick and then I'll give you a quick lesson on uh, rain sensor pads and cameras. Hey boys, going to the rain sensor. There's a rain sensor on this truck which detects rainfall, eh? And it detects a pitter patter and it turns the wipers on. So there's two ways of doing this. Depends if it's been done or not before. Always use a new pad, boys, or a two part kit, eh? So you can get the pads, you can. They go on there and you stick them on and Bob's your uncle. Now the only problem with the pads is if somebody's had this off before and use a two part, see how it loses the residue that's really hard to get off. So when you put this pad on, you end up seeing air. So if you run into them, you're better off to use what they call a two part boys. Okay, so what you do with the two part is you clean off as much as the old stuff as you can, of course. You open this bad boy up, which is decent. It has a two part tube and then it has a self mixing mechanism that you put on and then you just kind of plunger it boys just like injecting yourself so you just want to put a nice even bead on her boys okay nice even bead it mixes the two together as it comes out decent so just keep her down so you don't get any huge air pockets nice easy steady flow boys that's all you need eh so you just want to put a little bit on there for now. It does take time to set up and it will come down. So you don't want to get too carried away with it. Just let her set up a little bit, boys. And put this over here, somewhere where it's going to cure a little faster, eh? Freaking right. So we'll set that down there and we'll set that right there. Somewhere, for freak's sakes. Looking for a spot, boys. Girls, peoples. There, that's not too bad. So once you're done getting it all set up and stuff, she just snaps back in, she does just like that, eh? Freaking right, and it should, on the outside, look perfect. Damn near. 
So we got her done, Jim. Always test it to make sure it works. So now the camera on these, you gotta be very careful you don't touch that and you gotta make sure you've cleaned that. But these windshields come with a harness already. So all you gotta do is plug in the rain sensor pad. Always make sure you put a rag on the dash if you're doing this mobile because I didn't, uh, I forgot to put that kit on before I started the job. So it hasn't had time to cure. So a rag on the dash in case it drips just like that, boys. Do you see that? Decent. So we'll plug in the old rain sensor like so. She's a tidy, she is. Get in there, you son of a beaver. This plugs in up here like this. And that goes over like this. The camera goes on like a twisty, twisty, twisty. Like I said, be very careful when doing this, boys. Ooh, hey, ooh. Ah, there you go. Did you see that? Are you right, you did. So then this goes stoppy, stoppy over here. Snap, snap. And then this one goes in here like this. Make sure you get it lined up and then snap, snap, boys. See? Okay. Snap, snap, boys. I'm getting her, boys. Okay. I'm getting her. Taking some time, but I'm getting her. I am. I'm getting right, I am. Oh. These can be a little bit of a pain in the ass, as you can see. For freak's sakes, what's really going on? Whew. Okay. There. Decent. There she is, boys. It's all in the way you hold your tongue, it is. But anyways, there's a quick lesson for that. Don't forget, eh? If you need some glass, give the old gold glass and accessories a call. Friggin' right you should. But hopefully you like this video and I'll slap something together for you. Friggin' right I will. And uh, hopefully everyone's having a good day at work like I am. As always, hey? And uh, you know what to do for now.